Hello, hello, hello. It is Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Welcome to my Moody Monday Pick Me Up video. If you've never seen a Moody Monday before, this is me on a mood, on a Monday that's always a bit moody, isn't it? When you've been back to work and homeschooling kids and all that kind of stuff. This is me just checking in with you and trying to lift you up. So it's a Moody Monday Pick Me Up video which is all about me sharing some crafty fun at lunchtime. So there you go, that's what my Moody Monday videos are all about. Hopefully we'll have some of you join us and hop on and say hello and we will have some fun today doing some crafting and sharing some new stuff because oh, I can finally show you my favourites in the catalogue because I'm allowed to actually open the catalogue online and show you now. So hi Steph, morning, I mean afternoon even. So I can show you some of that, show you some celebration. I've got some some stuff I want to show you about one of our kits. Okay, and I've got um, a little card that we're going to make with some of Ice Cream Corner. Hi, Happy New Year Elizabeth. Hi Lisa Jane. Um, so yes, yeah, some Ice Cream Corner papers of which i have just this few that literally just these few pieces left out of a whole pack that's all i have left because the rest of the the rest i've used on various things <laughs> hi bev um so we're going to use some ice cream corner papers and we're going to use the stamp set happy thoughts which is um i thought very appropriate for our moody monday pick me up videos because um, we're all about being happy and being picked up a little bit. Uh, hi Ange, and these are great sentiments. Uh, this was designed by a friend of mine, Jackie Bowhouse, who um, is in the States and she has been a demonstrator for oh, many, 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 many years. Uh, she reached her 1 million sales target, milestone target, and a couple of years ago. And she gets to, as part of that, you get to design your own stamp set. So she wanted something that had sentiments for the outside and for the inside that were just, just brilliant sentiments. And I can hear her in these words. So like for a birthday, today is great because it's all about you, the great person you are and the great things that you do. Um, I just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way because she talks about happy thoughts all the time. Uh, and the little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people, which is tr so true for a lot of people. So, um, so yeah, just a really nice sort of set. Plus, you've got congrats, thank you, thinking of you and happy birthday. So some lovely, um, lovely sentiments. And Jackie, like me, loves simply just simple cards, really easy cards. And so she wanted all of these sentiments designed to fit into our punches. So they all fit into various punches. You can put them into... Uh, tailored tag you can put them into um, timeless label lots of different punches some of the retired punches will still fit as well so you know she just she really thought about the the stamp set and what she wanted so we're going to talk about that i think it's a great design i love it uh, and i'm going to be using it a lot um as i say i also want to talk to you a little bit about this kit but first but first i'm just going to show a few things that i really love in the catalogue not many just a few um I want to show you first of all this sweet dandy garden which you'll have probably seen a lot of i've been i've posted a few things and i know lots of people have posted stuff because we got this early as part of our uh, on stage so i've had this dragonfly set since december hey janice hi nice to see you i've been making cards with it i'm just trying to see if i've actually got any of the cards here that i've been making with them i think i can't remember is that one is that one is that oh yes here we go here's a couple I'll check these out uh i think i've sent the others okay so here's a couple of cards that i've been made i've made with them so here's one that's got just the dragonfly on it with the um this is part of the um what's this peony garden that's right peony garden uh and then here's a flat card like this with a dragonfly on the front and if you can see closely i don't know if you can see oh yes you can just about um there's a a little vellum one. Oh hi sue yeah happy thoughts is good hi sheila just back from guildford i hope you're okay um but yeah so it's just it's just a nice nice set anyway so that's my the dragonfly set from here um and i have a special offer running this um this month where if you spend 50 pounds on anything in the catalogue 
it doesn't have to be on this set but if if you spend it on this set it'll um it'll probably help one of these sets either either way you can um i'll send you a tutorial pack with 62 tutorials in that work with both of these stamp sets and all of the elements so 62 tutorials um when you spend over 50 pounds with me this month so that's a pretty good um that's a pretty good bundle to get for that massive it is uh both in imperial and metric so it's good for both so that's um that's a special offer i've got going if you spend over 50 obviously this bundle is only 34 pounds so you don't have to you know you can top it up with something else this bundle's 47.50 so you could just add a little bit of glue and you'd be over it um this one you could add some extra stuff so that's good you could add some of the other extra bits like the ribbon and the laser cut out sheets these laser sheets are lovely actually um so this one here this white bit here that's one of those laser sheets you know like the I don't know where I've, I've put them away somewhere I can't get to them but they, they're um they're like already laser cut out for you so they're almost all like already pre-die cut and you put them on so um you could maybe add some of them anyway so that's just one of the that's one special offer I've got going this month the other special offer I wanted to tell you about this month is the mini is out hurrah hey Paula nice to see you so yes the mini's out okay well you know the mini's out because I have the mini it's here um <laughs> and where is it where is it where is it oh so if you buy the mini this month your name will go into a drawer to win this bag which um the mini fits into it's a lovely bag great for when we can finally get to retreat and classes and stuff like that you can just bring your mini with you or you can use it as a lunch bag because actually that's what it's designed as as a lunch bag but it fits the mini perfectly and all the plates inside um i haven't used it I've, all i've done is unzip it and put the mini in it to show you that it fits it has pockets on the back it has this beautiful beautiful stamping up logo and everything on the front you can't buy these hi marilyn no don't worry you're fine um you can't buy these they're only available if you're a demonstrator um and then you can buy them as a supply item but um that's why i wanted to give one away so one of my customers if you buy a mini from me this month put you in a drawer put your name in a drawer and you could win one of those bags okay so that's the 62 tutorials and the bag that's fab okay um so then i'm going to show you a couple of my other favorite things so let us start at the very beginning because it's a very good place to start first of all kits i like both these kits um i've put this one down for our kit of february called hello dear friend okay that's pretty um we've also got you're amazing and this kit requires additional products to be purchased okay it's not an all-inclusive this one's all inclusive this one you need to buy the stamp set or use your own stamp set to be honest you're just stamping sentiments so if you think you could get sentiments that are about the same size then that's fine you don't need to buy the extra you could get away with putting all of them in black i think that would work brilliantly or all in just in pretty peacock or bermuda bay or basic gray i reckon I reckon that would work so one of those you wouldn't necessarily need i mean obviously it's nice if you've got all four but you don't necessarily need all four but if you want to here are the other items that you will need to complete that so we're going to do this one in february and this is going to be our march okay that's how i'm doing that uh so that's the kit and then we all know about the cactus yes this is the winter retreat okay so, so you can still book in for my winter retreat and i've decided that if you want to book in for the winter retreat and you already have the medley because you're coming to something else i'm doing for, for team and demos um we'll just swap out the medley price so you'll be able to pick anything up to 65 pounds okay so pick up anything up to 65 pound from the in catalog price and then that way it makes it easy okay so we'll be doing some stuff with this in our winter um retreat that's the word i'm looking for you're very tempted by the suit suite but wonder if it's versatile enough uh to use multiple times for the same person um i would think so hi alison again um yeah no we'll get to this you will get to this one don't panic marilyn we'll, we'll chat about that i think i think you could and i'll tell you for why um so 
even though it's winter, Sean's cacti upstairs, one of them is flowering. So you may think that cactus are all about like summer months and everything. Mm -mm. It's sitting next to our, um, it's on a windowsill facing out into the cold winter sun, but it's right next to our, our airing cupboard. So it gets really warm and dry. Uh, so it's a perfect temperature and we have little pink flowers on his cactus. It is adorable. So I'm going to take a picture and share that at some point. Okay, so that's that's partly the reason why I chose this as a, a winter retreat, because I just thought it was so cute. Um, okay, so then if you're looking for Valentine's Day stuff, obviously, love you always, good sweet. I really love two things. I love this heart here, which is like a, a beautiful die cut heart. Love that. And I love this with the, the wording cutting out. So we're going to be doing some more of that in the coming weeks. Okay. Don't worry, I will be sharing this with you, some ideas. Well, there's loads of ideas on here, and I love the fact that the paper is black and white and you can colour it in and you can cut it out. Some of the dies, I think, uh, work with, I can't remember which one it is now, but it works with one of these, I think. I uh, haven't actually tried that yet. I think it's this this flower that works with this or something like that. Or you can fussy cut them, I can't remember. I will try it and tell you. But either way, you can colour them or you can use them as the basic black and white sort of designs so that's very nice um so yeah so that's love uh, and then what's my next thing i wanted to show you uh yeah that's where you can find the happy thoughts stamp set page 28 and there's some simple ideas there for different things okay nice simple love this one really love that one uh what else what's the next one this one look at that happy isn't that gorgeous this is again from a friend again another million sales achiever this is from dina in the states and um she loves flowers but she loves like real bright colors which i just adore as well uh, so you do have to fussy cut out the happy but i'm okay with that um but i just like how the other things go together so that's um that's a really nice set and then this is a beautiful suite. Oh my word. Fine art floral. I just, I mean, oh my word. Where is it? Where's the papers? Let me just, I've got to get the papers out to show you. Oh, before I do that though, <laughs> in those love papers are foiled. Look at this. See that? <gasps> so you've got Rococo Rose foiled. Beautiful. Petal pink. And then this one is Sahara Sand at the back. Where's it gone? Ah, come on. Sahara Sand. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Gorgeous colours. Anyway, that's that. Um, so there's two papers in that suite. Two bundles. It's massive, that um, love one. Oh, come along. No. Can, would you, there it is, finally. So this... These are these papers, remember? Hopefully you've seen these from me before. The ones that are all like artistry. They're like painted. I mean, they have been painted and then they turn them into, they turn them into, um, they take photographs of them and turn them into papers for us. And then on the back, some really nice designs too. But this one coordinates with this acetate i can't remember if i showed you this before did i show you this before tell me if you're bored right so this acetate piece which is all gold okay yeah this acetate sheet is yes it's really shiny <laughs> the other one the loved one look at that it overlays directly onto i'm trying to get it so it's shiny but not oh it's hard with this overhead light hang on let me turn that off a second where's the light come here right can you i don't know if you can see that at all now but can you see the can you see the gold there it just oh look at that see beautiful right and turn the light back on so what you can do is you can chop this into six if you wanted okay and you could make six cards with gold overlays okay or you could put that in a frame right and put some words photograph you know you could make that into a beautiful frame and just stick it in the stick it on the wall 
right because it's a beautiful work of art as it is with that gold bit shining lovely so those gold pieces are part of what's it called this is called the golden garden golden garden designer series paper I'll put that back in there and you get different sheets so you get that one that overlays and then you get this one so you get two sheets in a pack and then this one which is just gold like a complete full design of gold stuff so beautiful beautiful things okay so that's what those sheets are up here okay I know Bev you could miss it if you didn't if you if you didn't look it I, I know I don't know that I could cut it I think I'd have to frame it too so that's that then we've got this gold foil okay we're going to be playing with this more um, in one of my upcoming classes and or playing with colour I haven't decided which yet could be either who knows um, but yeah gold leaf love it love it love it and the heat and stick powders back if you've had it before great um if you haven't oh the joys that you've got to come and then there's some beautiful ribbon that's actually got a gold thread woven through it so that that ribbon is beautiful um hold on. Oh, I can't find it I don't know I don't know what I've done with it now but it's gorgeous it's got a beautiful I've got a box just stuffed through. I've put everything that I haven't yet played with in a box and it's just so full still um with the loveliest nas tape window with the DSP on the inside of the card yes that also would be beautiful Paula yeah cut it out with a, a frame put it on the tap you know with the rectangular frames put it on the front and have the paper behind inside that would be lovely but yeah this ribbon's really nice too so and the set and the stamp set and dies are fab so you've got thinking of you congrats happy birthday your lovely best wishes good luck i miss you sorry thank you i mean flipping it that covers everything doesn't it really and then the sentiment in the dies just want to say and then you can just add any of those after it just want to say thank you just want to say i miss you just want to say happy birthday you know be lovely and that's like the wording from um you know the one with chocolates and the cocktails and love you more than right love you more than in the main catalog so that says love you more than and then you put chocolate or coffee or whatever and then this was just want to say and then you put all the different words in that brilliant uh and it's a two-step stamp so um stamp one stamp two and then you've got different things you've got like stems and different bits they all cut out um apart from this little piece here this one doesn't cut out so you've got this one this one this one and this one that cuts out plus you've got these long and short um ones here so that's a brilliant set this one is the other one we're going to use um as part of the medley for our paper play so you get dragonfly dragonfly garden dragonfly gut dragon whichever the dragonfly one is called i can't remember now dragonfly garden i'm sure it is you get that one as part of the um paper share if you've gone for the bundles and this one if you've gone for the i need it all bundles this is a brilliant many messages bundle um i have you, you, you can cut you can cut it out plain or you can cut it out with the words and look at all the sentiments that you get look at these they're so cool hooray it's your birthday be strong be brave you've got this that's very that's very appealing for this year isn't it right um happy birthday they're just great sentiments and you just just a card to say hello and then if you wanted to you can just print you just cut them out as colors as well so then you can put um different sentiments on top so you could say like you could put that on top of that and have a little banner behind it so it's it, really versatile really versatile this you could cut it out of papers of oh, so many things you could do with this set so that's part of the that's part of the paper play so that'd be good more paper party um then what else i'm just trying to show you my next favorite my next favorite is i kind of I, I i love this for the kids yeah with the song i'm not going to sing it because otherwise it's going to be in our heads all day but you get the feel you get the message right 
baby shark, mama shark, grandpa, daddy, gran grandma, grandpa. Isn't that cute? If you've got kids, I think this would be a fantastic bundle to get. Um, and also look at this, you get great sea scallops and shapes. I mean, I love the bubbles that you can get as part of this. Um, so I'm tempted to get it anyway, but <laughs> I don't have any kids, but you know, I'm still tempted by it. Um, and the other good one for children, although I am going to get it because I love it. Um, and I'm, it's going to be so that I can send um, cards to my Australian friends is um, the kangaroo. Look at that. That's so cute. OK, so you've seen this. I'm trying to find the snail, but you've seen the snail. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Oh, this is the ice cream corner one we're going to be playing with today. The um, papers you've seen snail. Here it is in all glorious glorious real life in the catalogue look at that so cute so cute uh so yes yeah, so that's snail mail and then this stamp set we had to get didn't we because it says craft queen and it's got my little crown on it so obviously i had to get that uh i will make up some good stuff with that um and then and then i quite like the butterfly one that's quite nice if you love butterflies this is quite a good one because you stamp the whole thing and then you cut out the whole thing twice. It's got like two dies to cut out the same. So you could stamp, stamp and cut out two at a time. So that's quite good for um, time saving. Paul has done some fantastic um, cards with this in our group. And then this is the stamp set we're getting with Paper Play as well. Paper Party, back to back blooms, also lovely. Just pretty. These are the actual sizes. This, they're too big to put on the page, but it's a, a beautiful um blooms this i really like okay this is a double size oval punch so it punches out two different sizes of ovals and they fit these so you've got automatic layering of sentiments onto a background nice i quite like that especially for people who don't have a die machine you know if they haven't got the haven't gone to the to the little mini that's a good one Okay, so coming back to Marilyn's question about this set, can you make it look different? Well, I think so. I mean, with you've got you've got with braces, you've got without, you've got posh, you've got um, halfway through. You could have it without braces and just as a normal shirt. You can just do it with the bow ties, or you could just do it like this, or you could just do it with the ties. I've seen some fantastic cards made with just the ties. So yeah i think you i think you could do different things because you could dress it up or down based on the occasion so like maybe for a birthday you could dress them up especially if it's a special occasion or if it's you know christmas or something like that for a guy or a, mainly for a birthday or a happy father's day but for a but for a, that could be for like a posh occasion and then one of these could be for a more of a fun occasion this is a very fun birthday card so i don't see and then you could just go like this and do different things um these are if you just take the nested labels and chop them off you've got this banner yeah so that's quite good for that um and i think i think i would find i think i, I would find other things to do with these dies in fact you've got the little pocket in the die i hadn't, I hadn't spotted that there's a little pocket in the die so you could make it into and there's buttons and there's a, I mean, you could almost make that into a, into a, a lady's dress. It doesn't even have to be a man's. Because that little collar there for the dies, I could easily make that into a girly dress. And a little pink bow for a girl in front of it. Um, especially this bow. So I think you don't have to have, like, I don't know. I think I'd use the bows on a, like a, an Alice band on a, head, on a card with the bow to make it look like a girl's card um christmas tie yeah exactly marilyn hi jane so i think you could do lots of different one Pee Wee herman yeah exactly <laughs> yeah but you could do you could do so many different things i think with this so actually i do think it's very very versatile and i think that's why we've got flowers in some of the in some of the paisley designs in here because i don't think it's necessarily just for men it's great for men but i think you could make it into women's as well so Hopefully that's answered you. Also, pennies need saving demo and non-demo as we have second celebrate. Yeah, okay. We're not going to talk about that yet, Steph. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, so lots of different things happening. But um, I think it's a good set. I think um, if you've got if you've got 
specifically if you've got a lot of men in your life then i think it, you could definitely make different things with it i don't think you have to be actually limited to what you think it's for do you know what i mean um and i have a feeling that if you go onto pinterest or google it already you'll be having different ideas popping up all over the shop for this i think um lots of creative very creative more creative people than i will come up with lots of different things to do but even i can think of alice bands girls blouses um you know posh christmas christmas tie you could do that in christmas christmas dsp you know with santas and stuff over it and all that kind of stuff yeah you could do lots of stuff so um yeah i think there's i think there's lots of things that you could do with that right okay i think that's pretty much covered all the stuff that i wanted to show you in here yeah just as a reminder if you're new to card making this is a great page at the back here it talks about some very good basic crafting supplies okay and then if you click flip over host and join remember we've got special host and join uh, things happening during celebration this month and next month and then here we've got catalog at a glance with all the bits and pieces so it's easy to find stuff um, all the embellishments on one page etc etc um, and then all the bundles etc coming over here all right so good stuff right so i'm going to tidy this up and get on with some crafting So let's have a look at this. Move all this off. It's got a really nice weighty thickness to this. Okay, pop that in there. Pop that down there. Right, so as I said before, let's think about this. I want to just share with you a couple of things about this kit. Now this is because I didn't realise about this until I'd actually, um, till I'd actually used it in our kit class. So our kit class is the first Thursday of first Thursday of every month, seven thirty, and it's free to come along if you buy a kit with me the month before. Okay, so purchase a kit this month, you can come to the February one. This was the one from last month. Purchase this last month, you come along. And it wasn't until I'd started actually making this as we were doing it, and <laughs> and you'll remember me going, oh, you actually have to stamp on it. So it's kind of like, huh? So yeah, so basically, these are some of the cards from the kit. So they've all got nice pretty envelopes. So there's this one, which is nice and simple. And then there's these two. And see this one you're supposed to stamp on these so i stamped on these i forgot to do the leaves on this one um but you can see that i did the leaves and the lemons on this one so that is what i want to show you today so you get this little kit and you get these little cards and then we'll go on and do some new stuff as well um and i've stamped all the sentiments because they're the easy bits but on this one oh i didn't bring the other one out See if I'm gone. Oh, because I was going to make up the two I didn't make. Okay, but let me bring out one of these so I can show you on this one as well. Because you get to make loads. I think it's 15 for this set. Here we go. And you get a little spot, but I decided I would use my big knife maybe, because I've got a big knife maybe. Oh, my voice is going already. <clears throat> drink of water better okay so on here you need um it comes with a block it comes all inclusive with a nice thick it actually comes with a massive great big block look at that one massive great big block lovely i'm going to keep that one safe because i have other ones that i've already got so you peel off and you peel on your little uh, leaves that's the word I'm looking for and um, oranges 
and then I'm going to put a little bit of paper underneath. So, put that on there. Okay. So then, now, bearing in mind, I can't look over the top because uh, my camera's over the top, not me. Where am I going? About there? Well, that's not bad. So then you actually just start adding to the design that they've already made. Isn't that cute? And to be honest, if you're a little bit off, it doesn't really matter. It just looks, although to be fair, this is going not too bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just work your way around. You could do as many or as few as you wanted to, really. You don't have to do them all. But doesn't that just make that pop a little bit better with those? Isn't that cute? So you could do, as I say, all of them, half of them, some of them. And then the orange is the same. You just have to work out um, where your segments are. So I like it that it's a kit, but it's a kit with a little bit more oomph to it because of the stamping. Do you know what I mean? Look at that. Even though it's a little bit off, I don't mind that. Some people might mind that. If you mind that a lot, then probably don't get this kit. But if you don't mind that, then... And oh, that's very off, but don't worry because the sentiment's going across there. Uh, but you could really, you know, you can really do pretty much wherever you want to go. It's not bad, huh? So that's that's um, that's that one. And then I think for this one, they say so. Obviously, you'd fill, you'd complete fill that in, and then that one goes on there like that. But obviously, you've got the. See, I think it looks better with the with the leaves in it highlighted rather than not so that would be my suggestion oh I've managed to miss I'm missing things oh hello hi Nori uh, which kit is this oh it is simply citrus this is simply citrus uh, out of the main out of the main catalogue this one okay and then for this one it recommends you just do the leaves but if you wanted to you could do the little orange as well but then you couldn't do the other bigger ones so i kind of see why it says to just do the leaves oops that's a bit crooked never mind i'll make this one a bit crooked too oh no maybe not <laughs> i was trying to make that crooked and it came out perfect isn't that always the way never mind It'll be fine. But, you know, I'm, I am doing it quickly and I am doing it, like, from an angle because my head's... I can't get my head underneath there. So then you just follow the steps, which is all we do in Craft Along, really. We just have a good time following the steps. And, oh, look, I can hide that one a little bit with a sentiment. Marvellous. <laughs> follow the steps to stick it on the card. How easy is that? So I love a kit. Kits are just... They're very easy for new people to get stuff. Oh, we're supposed to be doing some dots. <gasps> I miss my dots. Dots, see? These little things. You get a nice lot of little tiny... Um, you get some great sentiments, size-wise, but you get some great little tiny things to also add extra embellishy, embellishy bits. So, yeah like that just there like that in there and pop it down here there we go so this one's got the it's got a blue strip and these have got like these are angled strips like this so it's got a blue strip that's going to come across here it's got way to go that's just going to come across here and hide pretty much all of my nasty leaf which is good and then um a bit of twine that we're going to tie there but this can go flat and then it's got some of these really cute um it's got some really cute embellishments little flowers they're sort of they're like hard um like really hard vellum i would say and there we go pop that down make sure it's straight with my eyes yep and then this i'm going to attach to the back of this 
and I don't know why I'm changing from glue to this but I tend to do that as I go along <laughs> I just do way to go and you can tell my stamping wasn't great on this on because I was doing it diagonally but actually I don't mind it looks all right so then this with some um, dimensionals which come included in the pack so you don't have to even get your own out you know that you've already got pop those on there and then I'm going to tuck my tuck my twine my twine underneath like so straight yep yeah, straight there we go and then the twine is in the box still but you can tell it's it's this where is it oh. forgot about the twine and it even comes with these little glue dots as well that you can use with your um embellishments i'm going to use my I like them. I'm going to use my glue dots because I send those out for people in little kits. So I'm going to save them and I don't tend to use, I use them on the night to show people who are new and haven't maybe done a kit before so they know how to use them. But then I save them and I send them out with my free kits to people. Okay, so little glue dot here. shove that up under technical term stick it on the end of your uh, po um, the pokey end of your take your pick like that and then you can and then you can shove it like underneath where you want it to go and then stick it right so there we go so that's as if by magic my and that way you don't have to get your placement of your twine perfectly right before you Put it on your card if you know what i mean you can do it that way and then we'll just scatter a few of these and see what i mean they're quite they're quite sort of solid they don't um i don't know if you can hear that but they're they're definitely not um paper i'm sure that they're sort of a plasticky kind of vellum -y thing but they're cute stick one up there that's it one over my dodgy leaf and then <laughs> stick another one maybe a bit off up there somewhere there we go so that's that one so now we've got one two three four designs so then it's just the last one to do on this kit and this one's really simple we're wrapping our thread around this piece, tying it in the front. And see how simple these kits are. I love them. I love that you can then, if you want to, as a, you know, if you're a card maker and you're like, oh, but look at the back of that. I'd love to make that into like another label or maybe I'd like to put that on a bigger card or whatever. You can chop it up, you can make the envelopes into a memory album, you know, you can do whatever you like with it because it's your kit. But if you're new to card making and you've just found me on here and you're like, I don't even know what card making is, then kits are the way to go. They're definitely the way to start and um, they have great possibilities. And once you have an all-inclusive kit, then all the other kits sort of come to life because you've already got a block, so you don't need to worry about buying a block and you already have an ink spot so you could interchange that with another kit's ink spot and create some different ideas that way so once you have one you start to build up a collection of bits and pieces you know dimensionals glue dots all that kind of stuff which are all very helpful for when you get your next kit or when you do your next class or when you you know you want to do something else so i think they're a great entry point um into a new hobby and also they don't cost the earth so if you want to start something see if you like it and if you don't that's it then this one to make 15 cards which you'll get cards at the end of it to then give away um 
which if you bought them in the shop she's going to be paying a good couple of quid for it's 30 pounds for this kit and you make 15 cards plus all the envelopes and you've got supplies left to use for your next for your next card adventure if you want one if you don't then it's the cost of what a takeaway for an evening with a bottle of wine something like that it's not massively expensive um, but it's a good way of finding out if you actually enjoy it the process or not and if you do then happy days and if you don't you haven't lost much that's the way i look at it so and we've got card makers who still enjoy buying our kits you know we've got people on here who make their own cards and still buy kits i still buy kits because i like them um they're fast and they're fun got to pop out Bev. see you later catch up whenever so i'm going to give away some of my cards today i'm going to give away some of these kit cards today and then i'm going to um i've got another card to make don't worry we've got more coming so um i will be picking comments at random you'll have to send me your address and be okay with me having your address but i will send cards out to people so there we go there's the five that you get with this kit they're cheery aren't they that's they're pretty cheery and you see the two different um no here's the other one there's the other one the two different um envelope designs one with fruit one with spots all pretty all pretty nice huh you like hopefully you like so if you buy the um hello dear friend kit then you get to come for free to my card class craft along it's just a craft along for an hour but you come to craft along with me on zoom and we chat and we chill and we talk about all kinds of things <laughs> and the weather and everything else that's going on in everybody's lives and all that kind of jazz um but yeah so that's on the first so you just have to buy the kit you don't even have to have the kit with you you know if you if you buy it late if you buy it on the the last week of the month and it won't get to you in time then don't panic just come along anyway um because it's it's good to craft along together and then you get to see what the kit looks like and how it's supposed to be made up and then when you're ready and it arrives you can make it up at home okay so then the other the other card that we're making today is again another simple card but this time focusing on as i said the gorgeous ice cream papers aren't they so lovely cut down into a card it's really simple um, and i've actually lined it with purple paisley because sometimes we leave them always white but this time i decided to line it with purple paisley um mainly because i was concerned that may we might not have basic white but it's available so that's good so so let me show you how i made this card which was exceptionally simple uh in fact i might even change up can I change it up? No, I'm going to just go with it. Just go with it, Pip. Okay, so first of all, first things first, we're going to um, stamp this with the thank you from in here. Could be a birthday, but I'm going to go thank you again because I need lots of thank you cards for people at the moment. So, oops, there we go. So yeah, I'm going to give away a couple of cards at the end of this, but um, I will also I also always use these for my thank you cards and stuff. So there we go. And for those of you waiting for your monthly host code, I'm going to write to you, but just in case you're watching this, um, it's been ordered. I ordered it on the 5th, but due to customs and Brexit, there'll be more information coming out to my customers who order tomorrow um, when I know it. But there will be um but there's a delay basically on orders at the moment which i kind of expected i'm going to find out more information tomorrow for you but i kind of expected it's gonna it was going to happen with brexit and sadly i've been proven correct so things are taking longer to arrive than i would have hoped um which includes unfortunately your monthly host code gifts so i am they are coming don't panic they are coming but they will just take a little longer okay so as soon as they get here they'll be on their way so i have a, a bermuda bay cardstock base 
and then a purple posy it's going to go straight on i love this purple posy i'm just very sad that it's going to be leaving us in april end of april and it will be gone so if you like this color buy it now because it will be gone and you know what the in colors are like they'll all be gone before you know it okay and then we have this beautiful it's striped on that side and then it's got lollipops on this side fabulous for kids kids invitations party invitations you know if you're making a little um doing party invites or whatever i know they can't come but you might be doing a zoom one and you might be you know teaching them how to make lollipops or something over zoom or it might be for the summer when thankfully we can get back together again you never know then a little piece of purple posy cardstock here pop that on straight across the top there make sure it's make sure it is straight with the eyes there we go like so uh, and then i put some of this tri purple ribbon just a little loop cut it on the angle like so um the blue yeah bermuda bay is my favorite favorite blue i think i mean i like i like seaside spray and pretty peacock as well but bermuda bay is is in that kind of pretty peacock vein but just a bit darker i mean a bit lighter rather um but yeah bermuda bay is just such a turquoisey tealy that's just yummy just yummy so i put a bit of seal on the back of that and then that helps me to stick my tails on like so uh, then i add my little dimensionals this is such a quick card to finish off with so we will be done shortly pop my dimensionals on now um i shouldn't have put that one on there come back now that makes it bigger like makes it higher so then i put my minis on here so minis on here because minis are slightly lower than those ones and then i just sort of squeak in one sort of there-ish and that'll be a good enough coverage okay it doesn't quite make it up but it's pretty close it's the one in the middle that's going to stick up if anything and remember we're trying to go for um you know secure but flat ish so it doesn't look different and then pop it just on that side tassels coming out that way and then i grabbed these which are the new pastel pastel pearls oh, so so yummy so these have got these and these got you all over written all over them so look pink I think it's blushing bride i would say i would say that's blushing bride highland heather seaside spray and gorgeous grape mm -mm -mm. so where's my thing gone here we go so on this one i use the lighter one the purple posy one actually maybe it's purple posy i don't know this one i'm going to use the darker one because it's because i can there we go. they're almost too big for me to use my take my pick tool but they're, they're decent size There you go. And then you would just put your inner in. So I've just done a purple posy one. Because I thought it'd be quite nice to actually um but before I stick it in, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna uh, show you the bigger sentiment. That's what I didn't do on the other one. So thank you. I thought I was gonna put the I just want to send some happy thoughts your way. And for this inside piece, because it's going to be um purple posy i think i'm going to use the highland heather for my sentiment because if you put blue onto purple sometimes it comes out a bit of a funny color make sure that's i don't know how i think my highland heather might need inking so i'm just making sure it's got coverage that's what uh, don't do that on a new ink pad <laughs> that's really not tap 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 is it if you do that on a new new ink pad there we go oh have i got it crooked yeah it's a bit crooked i'll survive so <laughs> it's quite 
crooked actually isn't it let's not do that let's do that the other way around your stamparatus would be actually your stamparatus would be perfect for this maybe i'll do this with my stamparatus let's do that so if you want to make sure that the inside of your card is going to be straight and that it's going to be the same every time like if i was doing a bunch of these i would do them with my stamparatus so for anyone who's not seen the stamparatus here we go And this is how quick it is to set up as well because it doesn't take long first of all it's got your thingy that comes over or out i'm going to take this foam bit out because we're going straight down onto uh we're going because we're using a rubber stamp basically so i know this is how i get mine sort of straightish and i'm going to work on the premise that this piece of cardstock is going to come in somewhere somewhere around here ish so I want it to be about there-ish. So I think that that's straight there, but I'm not sure. So put it on the paper, pick it up. No, see, I can see it's going up on the two. So now on this side, oh, that's gonna have horrible lighting on it, sorry. I'll try and do this. On this side, I'm gonna lift it and shift it down a bit on the two. Okay, so just bring it down a tad, turn your paper over so you can see if it's straight. Now it's straight. You can see that if I bring that up, you can see, you can see the line, whoops, the line is going straight through the sentiment. So you know that that's now straight. Now I just sort of work out roughly, that's going to be about in the middle, shove it up, stick it down with my magnet ink it back up again pop it over yep and now i have it straight okay so i always forget to show you that <laughs> actually i love my stamparatus for that so that was just a quick stamparatus demonstration now it's straight enough for me to put in and not be panicking about because there was that and then there's that so much better <laughs> uh, this is a little bit more in the middle of the cardstock so i could have just brought it down a little bit but i'm happy and then if you get this you'll know that it's got that on the other side although it could be the other one in which case it hasn't <laughs> there we go look at that so now this says thank you and that says i just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way lovely there you go so that is the end of today's moody monday do you know it's the 80th moody monday that i've done so that's over a year and a half of moody mondays <laughs> which is quite an achievement i think um yeah over half over a year and a half of facebook lives so thank you for watching them all i know you haven't all watched them all but thank you for watching them all um and for being here and cheering me up on a moody monday and me hopefully cheering you up on a moody monday and uh, if you're interested in anything that i've shared today then let me know and i can um pop the details in or talk to you personally one-on-one -on -one or whatever you would like me to do Alrighty, thanks ever so much for joining me today you take care now guys see ya bye